Wait, FTX is back? It's your boy Crypto Million back with another one. Let me know in the comments if you ever use FTT or FTX in the first place, family, because I did a poll about a year ago and literally nobody used it. All right, it's Thirsty Thursday. Let's get into it, man. FTX back. Which would you shot? Would you shot with? Oh, Sam, Sam again. We're gonna be talking about a lot. Make sure that you like and subscribe. FTX being back. The Bitcoin fake out. Why well, I think this is a fake out. More Binance FUD, and we have some amazing news on one of our favorite project so make sure that you stick to the video to the end like and subscribe yeah, yeah let me know in the comments how you feel about ftx being back would you ever use that exchange or even buy ftt it is up 15 percent on the day could it rebound to the heights of 20 dollars again y'all let me know inside the comments all right let's get straight into it so ftx is moving ahead with its efforts to revive its cryptocurrency exchange and it's got a lot of people puzzled it got me puzzled but again you can see here, look at all of these companies, fam, that are interested here in buying and getting back involved with FTX. We got the likes of BlackRock, Ripple, yes, XRP, Galaxy, NASDAQ, and et cetera. All these traditional financing and, and even top cryptocurrencies, they're looking to buy FTX. So, uh, 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 you know, FTX must have been doing something right because you're seeing a lot of these companies interested in taking over ftx and bringing it back to its true greatness at one point this company was stocked on the miami heat stadium ftx arena baby and again it's kind of crazy that you're seeing a lot of the elites here looking to buy ftx so i've always thought ftx was a plant it's always been a plant to me. You feel me? I've never seen anybody use that exchange other than like real, real wealthy people. So again, I, I just, I'm just, you know, this is the type of stuff that kind of like, you know, makes me feel um, kind of weird about the whole BlackRock getting into crypto and Bitcoin when you see stuff like this, because we know how many people FTX hurt family. And then, you know, uh, we found out that they've recovered like almost $8 billion of customer funds. Are they going to give it back? We'll just have to see. But this is a very interesting development here inside the cryptocurrency market. But maybe this may be something positive for cryptocurrency. Um, we also got some Binance FUD. True USD did the peg. So we got some FUD here. Another Binance stablecoin hits the dust family. In fact, this is True USD's uh, second depegging uh, incident. And it's starting to, uh, uh, you know, uh, send waves around the cryptocurrency space. But to me, it, it, to me, it seems like a nothing burger. It seems like a nothing burger. It seems like they had their, their, their hands wrapped up into some FTX stuff with the same auditor that audited FTX, also audited Prime Trust. And this is supposedly a audited company that was their, their their place of address is in the metaverse right it's in the metaverse just crazy so it's hard to trust the auditing company that you know aims to be the first auditing company uh listed in the metaverse very very interesting but prime trust owes customer 85 million dollars but only has 2.9 so they're about 82 million dollars in a hole which is causing a ripple effect in the cryptocurrency market it caused um the true usd here to the peg and there's rumors allegedly that it could cause tether to repeg and also i'm not sure if it's affecting binance but it is definitely coming from that bnb camp man what is going on with binance are they co-mingling funds cz down three percent on the day binance again facing fud and i will say this binance has you know they've been in a 12 round fight with the fud but they've been putting up them hands man they've been putting up the defense mechanisms we know uh a uh, uh, cz hired uh you know put a, got a billion dollars put away for lawyers ready to fight the sec so you know binance has been holding up but again this is just unfortunate for the entire cryptocurrency space as we see some positive momentum here entering bitcoin and then we get hit with some fun you know what i'm saying not to add going into july around the 12th or 14th we got to deal with another fomc mean a potential another federal hike and this is why i feel bitcoin could potentially be going sideways for the next 60 to 90 days prepping itself up for the next crypto bull run all right so we'll just have to keep you know i am in monitor to these things you know a lot of people think there's speculation that CZ's uh, era is coming for Binance. He could be stepping down. Some people don't think that, you know, it'll happen anytime soon. But a lot of people are also confident in Binance because they do have one in one with assets. So despite the FUD, despite people saying that CZ co funds, you know, um, there there is um 
there, there is, you know, rumors and allegedly that the funds are the customer funds are one in one. So that's good to know. Let's get into this Bitcoin fake out because it, this is crazy, man. A lot of people freaking out on, on crypto Twitter like, oh, my God, we're going back down family. All you have to do is pay attention to the weekly charts. The weekly charts are giving us an opportunity to see what's ahead. Now, anything can play out. Don't get me wrong. But based on what we know from history, you know what I'm saying? We are in. We, 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 we're trending in the right direction. OK, so the stock RSI is trending up here. OK, Bitcoin. If it could confidently break 33,000, we could potentially see something like 36,000 next and hopefully get altcoins back on track. We've broken the Gaussian channel to the upside, but we have yet to flip green here on the weekly. So we'll just have to keep an eye on that family. And also, we are above, again, the 200-day moving average and using it as support. Actually, using the middle line here with the Gaussian channel uh, as support as the stock RSI looks to move to the upside the only thing that kind of like stopped bitcoin's momentum is of course people taking profits it did make a nice move and then we got that binance fud coming in but bitcoin has held up pretty nice family as you can see and you can see here we are above the uh gaussian channel now i did a video yesterday how i talked about you know usually after we cross the gaussian channel we, we trade sideways for like 70 to 100 days and that could be a possibility but if we get some type of catalyst in the crypto space maybe that gets accelerated this is the weekly chart i'm looking six weeks out i'm looking 90 days out and i'm preparing myself now family why we get have these prices because i just don't see these prices staying low for too much longer and even uh, Michael Saylor here agrees. Michael Strategy buys 12,000 Bitcoin for $350 million at 20K, 28K per Bitcoin. This is huge because we've seen all these companies lining up, lining up like this, the EBT line working to get this spot ETF that some people still believe could get rejected, even though BlackRock has a 99.9% .9 closing rate when it comes to these ETFs. Also, family, you feel me? It sent a ripple throughout the whole entire uh, traditional uh, market here where you got multiple companies coming out. Grayscale, Fidelity, uh, uh, ARK, uh, you know, uh, what's that? Kathy Woods. They're all lining up here to get this uh, Bitcoin ETF. And, you know, Michael Saylor knows something we don't know because he's like, he sees it like, hold on. <laughs> hold on, fam. Let me buy 12,000 Bitcoin BTC. Can you imagine buying 12,000 Bitcoin and that that must be wonderful. All right, and then we also getting some some more positive notes here with the tether dominance. Uh, finally, family on the weekly, finally trending down. This is amazing because we know the tether dominance and the DXY are inverted charts, and they're both trending down as far as momentum on the stock RSI. So for the people that keep saying, "Oh, man, we're going down, we're going to 10k, 8k recession." I, I personally don't see it um, when you compare uh, the Bitcoin ETF to the gold gold ETF. It took, you know, a few years to play out, but gold went parabolic after it got the spot ETF. A lot of people feel like the same thing was was happening. Um, a lot of liquidity poured in Bitcoin yesterday from the futures ETF. People able to do 2x leverage here in the states so you're seeing these these this foundation being built you're seeing these fundamentals being built right before our eyes um taking a look at the total altcoin market because you know we all love our altcoins i'm calling it right now inverted head and shoulders chart you got the start rsi reset momentum will head to the upside as long as we can get the bitcoin dominance to fall down a little bit i think right now may be a perfect opportunity to dca as we are in the red we got a little bit of uh clearance going on today these are the days this is how you train your mind to buy in the red family stop buying in the green stop buying at the tops take advantage of these red days i say it all the time the most important thing in crypto right now is making sure you have liquidity coming in so increase your hustle 10 times your hustle put in that work and you will put yourself and your family in position two four years from now to having legacy changing wealth all right hit that like button if you get some type of alpha Huge quant news. So if you're still here, appreciate that. Let me know in the comments if you made it here. So we got some huge quant news, family. Quant. Yes, y'all know I love quant, man. When I look at the tokenomics, quant 
anywhere under 100 bucks to me is a steal even at 105 it's a steal it is sitting at a one billion dollar market cap but it's one of those projects i feel like has the potential for trillions of institutional um, money to pour in if it gets picked up from an institutional level from the black rocks from these companies the, the traditional finance companies the circulating supply is 81 percent of a max supply of 14 million tokens we're talking about less tokens than bitcoin bitcoin was able to hit 60,000. quant sitting here at a hundred bucks with you know debatably better tokenomics than bitcoin but what's the news what's the news fam? let's close it out with this so huge quant news coming from my boy crypto reviewing after years of hard work and development quant has officially launched their overledger platform this is insanely bullish and here's why the overledger platform makes it incredibly simple for businesses to build the blockchain and therefore access the many benefits it has to offer by releasing this platform thousands of businesses will be able to transition from inefficient legacy systems to new revolutionary blockchain technology not only will this bring mass adoption to the quant platform but also huge enterprise partnerships too quant has already secured insane partnerships such as amazon oracle mastercard bank of canada barclays this is this will only bring more utility and partnerships to tokens uh, to, the, to the token and project insane bullish for the quant long term and y'all know i say it all the time quant is the tcp ip of crypto a messenger system between traditional finance family and of course the entire cryptocurrency market so we'll keep an eye on a quant we'll continue to monitor that uh yeah getting a little pullback bitcoin back to thirty thousand. i think he went all the way up to thirty thousand six. we almost made it to that 31k getting a little bit of pullback but this is healthy pullback because a lot of people want to catch up with these pumps we'll be doing a uh, solo quant video sometime today talking more about it and of course we'll do some videos on your favorite meme coin so be sure to tune in this was thursday's crypto news it's your boy crypto millie i'll see you in the next one